Getting a domain directly from Shopify may cost you more than getting it from a third-party site such as GoDaddy, HostGator, Namecheap, Bluehost, Hostinger, and many more. This is one of the main reasons why a lot of e-commerce sellers get domains from a third-party site and not from Shopify. Aside from the domain purchase, you also need to consider the renewal price. If you also hold a lot of stores, it may be beneficial for you to get it from those third-party domain registrar. When you connect a third-party domain to Shopify, it points your domain name to your Shopify store. So when someone enters your URL into their browser, they'll be directly to your Shopify e-commerce shop. In this tutorial, we will walk you through the general setup on how to connect your domain to your Shopify. It doesn't matter what third-party site is that, the process will still be the same. To start off, access your Shopify admin at www.shopify.com. Once you're in your Shopify admin, click the online store tab on the left side, then select domain on the drop down. You should see your primary domain in there, which should be the My Shopify domain. Click the connect existing domain located on top, then type the domain that you have on the field and click next. In order for us to know the values that we need to change, let's click the verify button. It now will show us what values needs to be changed. So we will need to change two values, which is the C name and the A record. Next thing that we need to do is to access the third-party site on where you bought your domain. For this tutorial, our domain is bought from Hostinger. So I log in to Hostinger.com. Access the domain name system records or the DNS records. On Hostinger, you can access them on the DNS or name server tab. This is where you should see the list of records. We'll be changing the C name and the A record. Go back to your Shopify window and notice that the current value on C name is bttutorials.online and it needs to be changed to shops.myshopify.com. So just click copy on the required value of C name and go back to your domain registrar. Look for the C name that has the same value indicated in Shopify and edit it. Replace it with the one that's indicated on Shopify which is shops.myshopify.com and update the changes. Go back to your Shopify window and the next value that we need to change is the A record. Copy the required IP address and take note of the current IP address. Go back to your domain register window and look for the A record indicated on Shopify. Replace it with the required IP address and update your changes. Go back to your Shopify window and click the Verify Again button.
it should then show you that the primary domain has been updated to your personalized URL. You now have updated your domain and when your customers enter your URL, all of them will be directed to your Shopify store. Do you like this content? If you do, don't forget to like this video. Click the subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you will get notified in our next video.